I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of shit brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me! Good! It's you! Maybe you could talk some sense into her. If you can make it past all the flagons of my ale she drank! She can't fight like this, Asher! You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend! She'll get us all you killed! You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Beska, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> oh, fuck! Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do! Unfortunately, we have to listen to him, even if he is an arsehole. He's in charge of this mission, and what he says He's goes... He's not in charge of me! You think I give two shits about what Croft had to say? Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. I'm doing this for my family, Fiska. This is oh, the only it's way. It's always about you. Your family. Your problems. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. What are you so afraid of? I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. That's... What kind of a monster would do that to a child? To him, we were not children. We were his playthings. His... Entertainment. There was this boy... We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. 
know you won't. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. <sighs> All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble, I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. You're quite handsome yourself. I can see why Sarah likes you. Hopefully that's not the only reason. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Is clean. <gasps> oh, really? My That's ears enough, are I not we'll delicate. That. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. Stop it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? My apologies. I just noticed Lords Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe them. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! No longer a demand. I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild thing. Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. 
You're always so livid, Lord Andros. It can't be good for the Constitution. You think you can mock me? You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend Morgren scared me? Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Good day, Lady Mira. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. Do you still work with him? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Sarah? Lord Tarwick? Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you talking to Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira's interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. What do you know about Lord Andros? <laughs> Look elsewhere, Mira. That man is married to his gold. And from what I hear, he never did enjoy the company of women. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. <laughs> Hello again, Lady Mira. Goodness, Mira. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Please excuse me. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <coughs> Shit! You startled me, as if I don't already have enough to deal with. I'm so sorry, I, I shouldn't have... No, no, it's not your fault. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. 
So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes. We do some business together. What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand? If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Lack of effort, mind you. 
I hear they've spared no expense. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well, now you know, too. It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic, because I'm just getting started. <laughs> <laughs>